today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Royal Fairy Picnic. This is a perfect day for a Royal Fairy Picnic. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Hooray! I love picnics. Danny Plum, prepare the Royal Picnic Basket. Yes, Your Majesty. And will we be having magic jelly for pudding? Uh, maybe we should give the magic jelly a miss this year. But we always have magic jelly at the Royal Picnic. Well, if you promise not to flood the entire kingdom with jelly, like last year... Trust me, Your Majesty. Nothing will go wrong this time. Mummy, can Ben come on the picnic? But Holly, Ben is an elf. And this is a royal fairy picnic. Please, can Ben come? He's my best friend. Well, I suppose, as he's your best friend. Hooray! I'll ring him. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Can I speak to Ben, please? Righto. Ben, it's Princess Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Would you like to come on the Royal Fairy Picnic today? Yes, please. Good. Come to the castle as quick as you can. Mum, I've been invited on the Royal Fairy Picnic. How lovely. You'll need plenty of food so you have enough to share. What would you like? Um, pies, cheese and some fruit, please. I'll put in a whole strawberry. Then you'll have enough for everyone. Thanks, Mum. Bye. See you later. Look, everyone. It's Ben. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, this should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh... Don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the Ladybird. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. <laughs> Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Nanny Plum can speak Ladybird language. <laughs> Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. <laughs> Nanny Plum, can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Oh, oh how charming. I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Ben, it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow. Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for anything? Yes, anything at all. Hmm, OK. Lemonade, please. Isn't that a bit boring and ordinary? Elves like lemonade, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ben, you can have anything you like in the whole wide world. In that case... Lemonade with a dollop of ice cream. Are you sure you wouldn't like something more exotic? OK. Lemonade with two dollops of ice cream. <laughs> Good choice, Ben. Magic basket, please. Lemonade with lots of ice cream. Hooray! <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> Don't forget Gaston. Hmm. What do ladybirds like to drink? <laughs> they like smelly things. That's right. If 
by a ladybird's growl, may the next drink be foul. Uh, Nanny, you've made it too stinky, even for Gaston. Nonsense! Ladybirds love rotten cabbage juice. Now for the main course. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Ooh. And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What's happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year we made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. It was rather spectacular. <laughs> but it's not going to happen again. Is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we all need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew, for a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood, jelly flood, jelly flood. And that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Hmm. I don't believe I've ever eaten elf food before. Would you like to try some, King Thistle? Oh, thank you, Ben. Yum, yum. Mmm. Elf food is delicious. It really is. Nanny Plum, you must try some. <laughs> Very well, Your Majesty, seeing as it's a royal command. And here's another royal command. 